Hi, this is Tanner with Complete Speech. In a previous video, we saw how VowelViz displays the transition in phonemic diphthongs I, oi, and ow. I, oi, and ow. Today I want to look at two more diphthongs, o and a. Unlike I, oi, and ow, which are well-known diphthongs, these two vowels are often perceived as pure vowels. In some dialects of English around the world, pure a and o do occur more often. However, in North American English, a and o are almost always blended into another vowel, or diphthongized. Let's look at these vowels in both isolation and in word environments. When we look at o, and hold it in isolation, we can see that it is a sustainable vowel. O, O. But when we put it into word contexts, we generally blend O up into U or U. As heard in coat, boat, and toast. O. You can see that as I round my lips and transition that sound, the tracking ball rises from O to U. A is often transitioned from E to I, as heard in cake, ate, take. You can see the transition as the vowel closes. A. A. It's important to understand some phonetic variables and dialectal differences. This helps provide better feedback to both users and students. Thanks for watching and look for other upcoming clippets about vowel vis, vowels, and R.